The Center of National Resistance reports that about 84,000 Kadyrovites are preparing for war against Ukraine. They were involved voluntarily. According to the CNR, Kadyrov plans to send Chechens to the front, claiming that Chechnya has fulfilled all tasks and that this number of terrorists was recruited voluntarily. The organization emphasizes that Moscow is not coping with the war situation and the regime lacks cannon fodder. The CNR indicates that the puppet regime will do everything possible to use the opportunity to send Chechens and other representatives of national minorities of the Russian Federation to the front, acting on the ideas of Putin and his entourage. It is noted that according to Kadyrov's statements, Chechnya has fulfilled all the tasks set by the Kremlin to avoid mobilization. That is, this number of terrorists was recruited voluntarily and people should be grateful to him for this, the National Resistance Center points out. Earlier in October, it became known that Kadyrov proposed sending traffic offenders in Chechnya to the war against Ukraine. He instructed Russian State Duma Deputy Adam Delimkanov to take this issue under control. Additionally, according to Kadyrov, a new regiment is being formed in Chechnya, consisting of 2,500 personnel, and the deployment of offenders to the front will be appropriate. Earlier, Kadyrov said that Chechnya, which is a federal republic of Russia, had sent more than 26,000 fighters to Ukraine from the start of the war, including 12,000 volunteers, and that at the time, 7,000 of them were actively fighting. There have also been several Chechen armed formations fighting on the side of Ukraine in the war that began with Russia's full-scale aggression in Ukraine. Kadyrov's militant commander of the Special Forces, Akhmat Apti Alodinov, reported that Russian military committed 187 crimes in the Kursk region. He learned about this from the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs for the Kursk region, Viktor Kosarev. Among the crimes were murders and rapes. Alodinov did not specify the period during which these crimes occurred, and allegedly the militants of Akhmat did not commit any of them. It is worth noting that the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov, accused State Duma deputies Bekan Barakoev and Rizvan Kurbanov, as well as Senator Suleiman Kerimov, of plotting to kill him. Since Kadyrov's ascent to the presidency in 2007, the Chechen government has gradually fortified its friendship with the Kremlin by quashing its internal opposition movements. Still, the legacy of Russian intervention in Chechnya continues to inspire outrage, leading Chechens in the diaspora to join arms with Ukrainian soldiers in a kindred fight against Russian domination. Israel's emergency services said 11 people were injured before dawn Saturday in attack in the central town of Tira. Footage showed damage to what appeared to be an apartment building. Israel's military said three projectiles had crossed into Israel from Lebanon, some of which were intercepted. Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles from Lebanon into Israel in solidarity with Hamas immediately after the Hamas-led October 7, 2023, attack on Israel, which triggered the war in Gaza. The year-long cross-border fighting boiled over to full-blown war on October 1, when Israeli forces launched a ground invasion of southern Lebanon for the first time since 2006.
Smoke was seen rising over the Beirut skyline early on Friday following a suspected Israeli strike. It comes as Israel and Hezbollah continued to trade fire on Thursday as U.S. diplomats arrived in the region pushing for ceasefires in both Lebanon and Gaza. Rocket barrages from Lebanon into northern Israel killed four foreign workers and three Israelis on Thursday, Israeli medics said, the deadliest cross-border strikes in Israel since it invaded Lebanon. Israel kept up airstrikes it says targeted Hezbollah militants across Lebanon, where health authorities on Thursday reported 24 people killed. Senior White House aides Brett McGurk and Amos Hochstein were in Israel Thursday for talks with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and senior officials about the conflicts with Hamas and Hezbollah. The meetings focused on efforts to secure a ceasefire deal in Lebanon and to assess new proposals floated by mediators to free Israeli hostages being held in Gaza. According to a U.S. official familiar with planning for the talks who spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to comment publicly. Hezbollah has been firing thousands of rockets, drones and missiles into Israel, and drawing fierce Israeli retaliatory strikes, over the past year since Hamas October 7, 2023, attack out of the Gaza Strip triggered Israel's devastating war in the Palestinian enclave. Over the past year, the broadening Israeli campaign in Lebanon against Hezbollah has killed 2,865 people there, wounded over 13,000 and devastated Lebanese towns near the border. Some 1.2 million people in Lebanon have been displaced since Israel escalated the conflict into a full-blown war last month, when it launched a wave of heavy airstrikes that killed Hezbollah's top leader, Hassan Nasrallah, and most of his deputies. A year of Hezbollah rocket attacks have also forced 60,000 Israelis to evacuate from near the border. Two people were killed and six others were wounded in two shootings that took place among crowds during Halloween celebrations in Orlando early Friday, authorities said. Officers responded to a report of shots fired in the city's downtown shortly after 1 a.m. A second shooting minutes later happened within a short distance of officers and they quickly made an arrest, the city's police chief Eric Smith said during a briefing Friday morning. The six wounded, who range in age from 19 to 39, were transported to a hospital for treatment and were in stable condition, Smith said. A 17-year-old male suspect was taken into custody, said Smith, who showed video from street security cameras and a police body camera showing the two shootings and the suspect's arrest at the second shooting location. After the first shooting, police used security video to put out a description of the suspect, but the second shooting happened near police and officers saw the attack, Smith said. A handgun was recovered at the arrest scene and there are no other suspects, he said. There were more than 100 officers patrolling the crowds estimated between 50,000 and 100,000 people who were out celebrating Halloween on Thursday night and early Friday morning, Smith said. Florida State Attorney Andrew Bain said charging the teen suspect as an adult is a possibility but his agency would await further information from the police investigation.